so this is dividing decimals where the divisor is a decimal number as well. What I mean by that is rather than a whole number, it's just a little bit trickier because we've got decimal places to consider. So let's say, for instance, we have a, a typical word problem would be something like uh, a rectangle where the area is 0.35 metres squared. And we know one of the dimensions, which in this particular case is 0.5. And what we need to do is to find out the height of the rectangle and this dimension here. Well, in other words, for us to calculate the value of the height, we have to divide 0 0.35 by 0 0.5. So if I write that out, what I mean is 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.5. OK. The thing about dividing by decimals is that it's tricky because you have a decimal point there. So really, it's much, much easier if you can divide by decimals that are whole numbers. However, the good news is, is that what we can do is rewrite this, and it's this decimal, um, this division side that we can rewrite as a fraction. So what we've got really is 0.35 divided by 0.5 and if you look at some of the other videos it'll show you that that is exactly the same as writing the line with the two dots because that 0.35 goes on the top and that 0.5 goes on the bottom so I really haven't changed anything I've just rewritten it in a format which is a little bit easier for me to work with. Now the thing about fractions is that um, whatever you do to the top, the numerator, the number at the top, you need to also do to the denominator, a number at the bottom. And again, if you look at some of the other videos on equivalent fractions, that will give you this particular method. So what we say is, well, actually, that 0 0.5 I really don't want. What I want to do is make sure that 0 0.5 is 1 or 10 or a hundred or something like that or something that makes it much easier for me to divide by. So what I can do firstly is I'm going to move the decimal point along one place towards the right in order to make sure that this is a whole number. Now if I do it to the bottom I have to do it to the top. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my decimal point along one place with both of these numbers. So here we are, I've got 3.5 divided by 5. Okay, well that's alright, 3.5 divided by 5 is absolutely fine, I've no problem, and if I wanted to I could rewrite that as a short division where I calculate how many lots of 5 there are in 3.5? And that's perfectly legitimate to finish the problem in that particular way. Um, however, we did talk about equivalent fractions. So what I'm going to do is continue to manipulate this fraction until I can make my life a little bit easier by dividing by 10 in this case, or it could be 100, or it could be 1. So I can now say, well, at the bottom here, if I multiply that 5 by 2, I'm going to get 10. But because I've multiplied it at the bottom by 2, I have to multiply it at the top by 2. So 3.5 times 2 there and 5 times 2 there. 3.5 times 2 is 7 and 5 times 2 is 10. Brilliant. So actually, as a fraction, that's my answer, 7 tenths. But really, because the uh, problem has been given as decimals, I need to convert that to a decimal. And the way to do that is I'm dividing by 10, so I simply move my decimal point by one place towards the left. So there's my decimal point, the 7, and I'm going to move it one place over, which will give me a decimal equivalent of 0 0.7. So the answer to my question is that this height will be 0 
meters okay so in other words 0 0.7 times 0 0.5 is an area of 0 0.35 um, just to check there if I want to I did say we could do it by short division so how many lots of five are there in three well the, there's none so I put a zero there I'm going to pass that three on to the next um, number how many lots of five are there in 35 well, there are seven. So guess what? I get the same number or the same calculation each time that I do that. So there's two different ways you can do it. Look upon it as a short division or look upon it as a fraction equivalence and fraction manipulation. I hope that's okay. And that's dividing decimals. And just really the main issue with it is you need to make sure that when you manipulate this, you need to be dividing, if you can, by a whole number.